Hello, welcome to Beach House Wood Designs. I'm Grover. And I'm Susie. We've added to our unfinished furniture, custom and consignment, repurposing furniture. We love to take the old furniture and make it into a whole new function with a whole new style. Today we're going to show you in five minutes how to repurpose an old piece of furniture that we admire and uh, we're going to show you how to do that. So what do you do with these old TV units for those big TVs we don't have anymore? I've been looking at this one and I think this one will make the perfect child's reading center for my granddaughter. I'm going to put a window in here. I'm going to put chalkboard, cushion. You just wait. I'm going to show you every step of this process and you're going to love this unit when we're done. And so will my granddaughter. Starting with the details of our reading nook that we're going to be working on here, we're going to start with a cushion, which I had cut to our size, three inch thick. I found this vintage fabric that I love, so this is going to be the color palette we're going to work with. I will build a uh, cover for this. I will also make some throw pillows, which would be nice and comfy. And then in the back, I would like to hang this old wood window with the background of this fabric, another vintage fabric, which I will create here a book storage so we can have a nice book display hanging in the back of the TV unit uh, which is now going to be our reading nook so the thing here is to choose the right color we have lots of colors available in our milk paints or any Sherwin-William color I think the best color for this unit and one of my favorites from our milk paint line is buttermilk yellow this yellow goes perfectly with all of our colors we're going to step over there now and get started painting our unit yellow with sponge brush let me show you how. This side I will be taping off to do the chalk paint on the inside inset panel of this door. The back side, this side, I'm going to have an inset panel that will have a bulletin board on here. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this frame and get it ready for those insets. And it's real easy. It's like spreading butter on toast. Milk paint on and just spread it. Looks like you forgot to break for lunch again. You know I did. I always forget. When I get into a project, I just forget to eat. Uh, Thank you. you Where's go. yours? I'm going to go get it now. Come join me. Let's eat. 25 years. He makes sure I get fed, and I make sure the projects get done. Now what we're going to do here is we have got the back side of our door. We're going to tape this off and spray on the chalkboard in the insert of this. I'm going to go ahead and tape it off uh, and not paint these doors yet because this will overspray. So I want to make sure I get this paint on before I get the yellow on. All it is is just take your tape, line it up, and cover the entire space that you do not want this overspray on. It will take usually three coats and two hours drying in between coats. And there we are. Two coats of buttermilk yellow paint, two layers of sanding with your sand pad that you started with. Now it's a nice, fine 600 grit sand pad that makes it nice and smooth. We've got all, everything on, doors on. Got a few details to add now so that we can make this special unit a very special place for a very special little girl. So we're going to reveal now that chalkboard paint that we started with underneath here. That was a total of three coats that we put on. And voila, there it is. And on the back side of the chalkboard, which will be the exterior, I have created a little memento board. This is with fabrics and ribbon and tacks. Now how we did this, I did this, is started with a little piece of luon, cut it to fit the insert of this door, and then covered that luon with fabric, used the carpet tape here, Rhino Grip, put that down on the door, which adhered this to it. It also adhered the fabric to the Luan board. Then ran the ribbons, attached those also with the carpet tape, and then the tacks holds everything in place. Now we put our door on here with our little memory pieces on front. Inside is the chalkboard, so the little ones can play school maybe. Some book storage here. They can also hit this little light up here, which will help them to see better. Then over here, we have created our reading nook. A three-inch foam cushion that I covered with vintage fabric. 
I also made two accent pillows that all came from the color palette of this vintage. Behind us here is a window that I made as a book display. So this is an old window. I covered an eighth inch Luan board with fabric in the back. Put a little frame into the front so that the books don't fall out. And we're gonna display books here. It's very comfy. And they are sitting up very nicely. In addition, in here, I also put some lights in. So there will be plenty of reading light. Oh sure, Monty, I will be there, said Grover. I think tomorrow will be a better day. The end. <laughs> this is Presley. She's joined us. This is her special space. What do you think of your new special space, Presley? I love it. Yes. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us on our show today. You can go to our website or you can go to our Facebook and we will show you all the details of this particular project. I do welcome you to please send me pictures. Come on in, show me things that you have. You're wondering what you can do with. It's amazing the things that we can come up with together. We also do have workshops every month and that also is on our website for our schedules. Because good wood and good design just feels good.